everybody, welcome to Doing Dental School. My name is Kajal Katri. I am an incoming D2 this year and I kind of just share a ton of tips for dental students and other dental students, kind of just share my life as a dental student. So if you want to stick around, make sure to subscribe below. But today's video is all about D1 year and kind of just giving a little bit of advice, especially from someone who is literally just finishing up as we speak D1 year. I kind of wanted to share a little bit of advice. I know a lot of you guys have DM'd me telling me that you're going to be incoming D1s, which is super, super exciting. And I'm really excited for all of you. And you guys should also just be proud of all of the accomplishments you've made in this past year. And I'm very excited for you guys to kind of start your journey. So kind of wanted to just take some time, share a few tips and tricks that I've kind of learned along the way through my D1 year. So my first tip is just allow yourself time to adjust. This is kind of how I think about it is like, this is a new beginning and you know, just like you started that first day of middle school or that first day of high school, or even like going to college and having that first day of college, it takes time to adjust. It's not really quick of like, you know exactly what you need to do and how things run. It takes time to adjust. So allow yourself that time and try not to get frustrated in those moments where you know that it's just an adjustment period and that this is just new for you. So allow yourself time to adjust. All right, so number two, Find a way to balance school and life. I know it can be really daunting because you look at dental school and you're like, all right, this is what I've worked my whole life for and I've been working basically all these years in high school and college up to this moment of starting dental school. And you look at your course load and you're like, holy crap, I have never taken 25 credits or 27 credits at the same time in my entire life. This is gonna be crazy and I'm gonna have to de devote my entire life to school. But realistically, you need to give yourself time to kind of just find a balance between life and school because life still does happen and you still need moments to enjoy life as well because although we are all in dental school together, dental school is not your whole life or it shouldn't be your whole entire life. You should still maintain hobbies outside, maintain friendships and, and just allow yourself time to kind of just like balance the two. Okay, so my third tip doesn't necessarily have to do with dental school per se, but my tip is to learn how to meal prep or figure out a way to maintain eating healthy during dental school. It can be really hard because as I just said, you do take a lot of classes and you don't have a ton of time outside of school. So you wanna use that time wisely. And for me, cooking every single night was not even in the question, like I could not, be able to handle cooking every single night for dinner and for lunch. And so I would actually meal prep. I would take basically like Sunday night and I would meal prep all of my lunches and all of my dinners for the week. Even though I love cooking and I would love to be able to cook every day, it's just not in the books for dental school. Some nights I just gotta study and I just gotta grind and I don't have time to cook. So I would highly advise just maybe like researching some recipes, some really easy ones. I would highly recommend pasta salad, super Super easy but I would recommend just like researching a few recipes that you think would be really easy and just like go-to recipes that you can make whenever you're kind of in a pinch and you need to just have a really quick meal okay so this next one is a pretty big one but try not to compare and I know it's easier said than done and it's definitely something that I struggle with it's probably something that every single dental student out there struggles with because it is kind of in our nature of like all right you want to you know be the best you can and you want to be able to to put forward like your best foot and so sometimes it is really hard not to compare yourself to other students but the one thing that you kind of just got to remember is every single student in your class is going to graduate a dentist you're gonna you know pass your classes and you're all gonna be a dentist and you're all gonna have those same three letters at the back of your name that DMD or that DDS right at the back of your name and so there's no reason to compare you kind of want to create a sense of community within your class and I think that's something that's really cool about dental school is that, you know, you are all taking the same classes and so you can share resources and you can build this community with your class that lots of students do take advantage of. And so that kind of counteracts the not comparing is don't compare, but instead just 
share, like create community because that's kind of how you get through dental school. So another thing to keep in mind is that you're in professional school now, you're in dental school and so you kind of got to act like a professional and be professional. So I know something that was pointed out to us right away is that all of the doctors who are helping you in sim lab and in clinic, they should be referred to as doctor. Don't call them Mr. Mrs. Not Miss, not Ma'am, not Sir, it's doctor. And that's basically the most professional way to go about that. The other thing also is just making sure you're respectful to all of your classmates and all of your faculty and professors. Also making sure you're kind of aware of what you're putting out in social media and what you're doing in your free time. Also making sure that you're adhering to a dress code. Just all of that stuff kind of adds to being a professional and being in professional school. All right, so this next thing, I know you guys have probably heard it a few times in the past, but learn from your failures and don't be afraid to ask for help. Honestly, I remember sitting in orientation and all of the D2s, we kind of had like a Q&A with them and they basically said like, all of you are going to fail. And I remember being so scared because I was like, oh my gosh, I've never failed before. Like I, I'm not gonna fail, like that's not gonna happen. And trust me, it happens to the best of us. You will fail and that's kind of just like a harsh reality of being in dental school but just because you fail one exam doesn't mean that you're a failure or that you aren't doing well in dental school it just means that you got to ask for help and you can learn from that opportunity and usually when I do fail so say if it's in sim lab maybe reach out to your professor or some of the TAs or other faculty see if you could get some tips from them reach out to your tutors um, or reach out to any d2 or d3 that you know see if they can come in and maybe coach you in sim lab if it's an academic course maybe reach out to the professor and ask if you can review your exam that way you can kind of know what to change and what to expect or maybe some topics that you didn't specifically understand and you can focus on those for the final exam there's a lot of resources out there to help you and just remember that everyone in dental school like wants you to succeed the faculty want to see you do well and your classmates want to see you do well and the upperclassmen want you to see you do well so take advantage of those opportunities and don't be afraid to ask for help okay and then a Along those same lines, try to get to know the upperclassmen. I know it can seem really scary because they seem like they know a lot, but realistically they were in your shoes really not too long ago. And every one of the D2s, D3s, and D4s have taken the same classes with the same professors, which is really nice because they usually have a lot of tips and wisdom to just share with you guys. And so it's kind of nice, especially for SimLab, they'll often teach you little tips and tricks that maybe you might not learn in class or they'll teach you different mnemonics or ways to remember things for certain academic or didactic courses. So it's really, really nice to be able to talk to the upperclassmen. So just become friends with them. It's pretty easy. They usually are so excited to meet all of the D1s anyway. I know I'm personally really excited because I'm not gonna be a D1 anymore and so I'm gonna have wisdom and I'm gonna be on the other side to be able to share wisdom with other D1s that are coming in so I'm really excited I know a lot of my classmates are feeling that way too and I kind of experienced it last year as well if they're always willing to kind of just talk to you about D1 year check in with you see how you're feeling and so it's kind of nice to just have them there and get some tips and tricks from them as well okay so I have two more tips that I'm gonna share in this video so the first one here is get to know your classmates and I say this for two reasons first of all they're gonna be your future colleagues and they're gonna be the people who when you're in practice and you don't know what to do you're gonna call one of them and say hey I'm not really sure what to do in this situation and they're gonna be the ones that can kind of understand what you're going through the other thing also is just that your classmates are really just how you get through dental school. If you're having a tough week, your classmate is having a tough week as well. And if you're having a super light and easy week, so is your classmate. And so that's kind of just how you get through dental school together is just building relationships with your other classmates and being able to kind of share this experience of dental school. The last tip that I'm gonna share in this video is always remind yourself what you're working towards. I know it can be really hard, especially now that you're in in dental school you kind of expect it to be all stuff about teeth and about the oral cavity and realistically it's kind of not um, that's kind of a harsh reality that I came to realize when I was in dental school is that you don't just learn about the oral cavity you're learning about so much you have a whole class on you know the brain and the anatomy of the brain you have a whole class about microbiology and immunology and histology and realistically when you're looking at a cell of the pancreas you're like 
like, all right, what? What am I doing? Like, this is not what I thought dental school was going to be. But it's always important to remind yourself that, you know, you are working towards being a dentist, making sure that you know what a pancreas cell looks like ultimately makes you be a better clinician and it helps you be a well-rounded clinician as well. So just remind yourself what you're working towards. And this can be done in a few different ways. I would highly recommend if you can to try to shadow if you have time. Otherwise, just go and assist in clinic. You can go in on days that you're not assigned in clinic and just ask if anybody needs an assistant. The D3s and 4s will be forever thankful for you. And it kind of just reminds yourself that, hey, you know, right now I am in the basement of the dental school in the same lab, but, you know, two years from now, I'm going to be in the clinic and I'm going to be seeing real patients and I'm going to be doing all of this clinical work. And so just reminding yourself that, you know, through those didactic courses that you're taking D1 year, it might not seem like it, but you are working towards becoming a dentist and just having that reminder in the back of your head can really help you get through D1 year. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys found this helpful if you're an incoming D1 and if you're an incoming D2, 3, or 4 or another dentist, definitely leave any other tips you guys have for D1 year. I'm sure we could all help out the D1s and let them know of any tips that you guys have. And if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Also feel free to follow me on Instagram. I am always posting just about my daily like everyday dental school life I also post tips over there as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I will see you guys next time bye